Hi, I'm Chuck Reagan, and I'm the Southeastern Sales Representative. I cover the Southern Territory in the United States for Ophir SpireCon. Uh, we're very, very pleased that you've chosen to purchase one of our camera systems, our diagnostic tools. We hope that through the, the information we give you that you will have lots of usage from this equipment for a long, long time. We're going to talk about SP503 and 620 cameras. They're both USB cameras. They have a USB connection right here. They have attenuation in the front. <clears throat> There's a photodiode right here. It's a trigger, external trigger device. There is a LED on the back that tells you if the, if the camera is being triggered. There's a, a BNC connector on the side here that's for external triggers, and it's also to strobe out or trigger out, and it accepts positive or negative uh, strobe signals. Normally, you would not sit eye level with any lasers, so let's talk about some safety stuff before we get going. If the laser's on, we would always use safety glasses. We will always remove watches or any necklaces or something that may fall in the beam path that will cause a reflection that can cause some people problems. And again, if the laser's live, we will normally use glasses. I'm just sitting here today. We're gonna to talk about the camera and talk about the setup of the camera. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna to go to the basic software setup just to get the camera turned on and get you ready to go on. You've already installed the software with administrative privileges. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to beam gauge standard and I'm gonna turn on the software. What you wanna do when you first start, you want to Double check the numbers at the top. The proper software is beam gauge standard right up here. The version you're using, the camera itself, here's a serial number and right here's a particular setup file I happen to be using today. When you first turn on the camera, you won't have a setup file loaded probably. So you'll come over here to this icon right here, this GUI right here, and you can load a setup file. I'm not gonna do it at this time, but you can find one that you need that you can use. Quite often you can use um, a, a, a novice one, CW, for this particular camera, say second moment results, that might be one you want to use. I'm going to cancel it for now because I've already got one installed. We're going to turn on the software right here at this spot. We're going to turn on right there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just check, make sure that my, my, uh, my frame counter is counting down here. Down here is a frame counter. Right here, I've got a ready signal. So I'm going to stop the software. It looks like everything's working fine. The camera's talking to the software. Next thing I'll do is I will block the beam. We've already got the attenuation set up for the camera based upon the laser power. And right here is the UltraCal GUI. You'll punch on that. And we'll simply wait for it. Down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see calibration and process. There's the, uh, the meters going through, and he's letting you know the calibration's finished. You'll see right down here this green dot that shows that we have an UltraCal, a green square. And you can always look on the, on the picture. It's generally a, a sandpaper type picture and let you know that you finished it. That lets us know that the camera's set up and ready to use. Based upon the proper attenuation you've set up, this will work perfectly for you. If you have any questions, give us a call. You can call me or any of my colleagues. The, the telephone number is 1-866-755-5499. Or you can look on the web at www.ophiropt.com slash photonics.